subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hello everyone, it's me Ashish Johan from Ashwe Creation. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can edit your photograph of the bike photo. Well, in this video, we will do the awesome bike photo manipulation. So let's get started. Open the Photoshop and open the image which you want to edit. Now, select the image. So for selecting the image, we will use this quick selection tool from here and click on this plus icon to select the subject so we will select the whole subject you can select this uh, by using quick selection tool or else you can also use pen tool to select it properly if you want to remove the selection from here now then select this minus icon from the symbol given here and just roll it on the area where you want to remove the selection now to duplicate this uh, particular selection just press or just press right click from the mouse and select the layer via copy copy option or else you can also press uh, ctrl j from the keyboard to duplicate the selection now we have made one duplicate layer of the selected area. All you have to do is now open the background which we want to put behind this bike photo. So we will go to the file and click on open. Then select the background. Here it is. Now just press Ctrl A to select all and press ctrl c to copy it and go to this tab and press ctrl v to paste it now we will adjust the uh, background by select or by go to by pressing the ctrl t button or else you can also go to the edit and select free transform tool now we will adjust the transformation or the perspective of the subject which we want in our final image. Here is the perspective. So first of all we will duplicate this uh, subject layer. Or else uh, we can also you know go to the mask select uh, select the mask from here on the sub uh, on the background layer now go to this white portion go to the brush tool and select the black color from here now select the soft edge brush increase the size of the brush and just uh, the background from the working to the Increase the opacity to around 60 percent. Now create the shadow. Duplicate the layer by go select by pressing Ctrl J from the keyboard and uh, change the blending mode to self soft light. Here you can see the huge effects. Now decrease the opacity to around 40% and merge both the layers. 
go to the crop tool and adjust the selection area which you want in your final image so I will select this area and just press enter so now we will go to the filter then select uh, blur gallery then go to the tilt shift now just blur the background Now go to the adjustment layer, select color lookup from here and select any of the color lookup which is more suitable in this image. To create more depthness to the image, we will select Go to the filter and go to the cows and create a clipping mask on the background layer and just increase the brightness. Here you can see the before and after effect of the photograph. Go to the first of all, we will add some smoke to the photograph. So, go to the pan, file, or pan, and add some smoke to the photograph. Just drag and drop it on this tab. Go to the edit and pre transform and just transform it. Change the blending mode to screen. This is how you have to add the smoke. One more duplicate the layer. And here it is. Now all you have to do is just blur the edge of the subject as we do in every image to get more realistic natural look go to the blur tool just uh, blur the edge of the subject
layers of the image. the blurring of the subject uh, it looks very realistic and natural so now we will add some smoke uh, sorry snow to the photograph dust particles just drag and drop it all over here go to the edit and free transform change the blending mode to screen Decrease the opacity. <clears throat> and here we have completed. Now let's go to the selective tool and uh, just click on this clipping mask. Go to the black. And just decrease it to around minus 5. and color to around plus 10 it will only affect on the below layer of the subject now merge all the layers just merge it right click on it and select merge layer and here we have done the merging of the layer Now if you want to add some light to the bike then create new layer and then go to the brush tool and select uh, light from here. Let's select uh, this yellow light. Increase of a CD 200 motion. Then the blending mode to screen just uh, increase the size by pressing ctrl t here you can see the lighting effect on the bike let's add a red color to the small headlights In the blend mode to screen and here it is let's add some white color to this decrease the size You can see the huge difference and a huge cinematic look of the photograph. If you want to add some light near the hair then just create new layer and and just select a yellowish light from here. Now just create one brush tool and go to the edit, transform it, change the blending mode to screen and just add it on the hair of the subject. Yeah. 
you can see the very perfect cinematic look of the photograph here is a before and after image So thank you for watching the video and if you enjoyed the video then just give me a thumbs up so that it will motivate me to make more videos like this and if you are new to my channel then subscribe it and share it with all your friends and don't forget to log on to our new website that is www.ashfieldcreations.com where you can find new backgrounds, PNGs, loots, color lookup files and presets and every kind of stuff i will be soon uploading it on this site so just keep stay tuned on that site well thank you so much for watching till then bye bye